Hi everyone, Mike the Mod Builder Guy here, and today we're going to have another tutorial on keeping your WordPress site safe from hackers. Now, if you recall in the last video we did, I showed you how to use the .ht access file to protect the WP config file. And if you remember, I said earlier that the WP config file is one of the most important files in the WordPress file system. So it's essential that we keep the WP config file protected. And as I showed you the last time, the .ht access file is the way to do that. Now we've got to protect the .ht access file. So I'm in my HostGator cPanel here. And as I said before, if you're using a different uh, hosting company that uses cPanel. Yours will look very much like this. The first thing we're going to do is scroll down to the file manager. Click on file manager. Here's the website we're going to be using. Now make sure that you click this little box here that says show hidden files. Because if you remember .hd access file is a hidden file. Anytime you see a file with a dot as a prefix that means it's a hidden file. So we're going to click on Go, and it's going to open up the files for that particular site. And as you can see right here, we have the HT access file. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go up here to the code editor, click on that, drop down, and click on that. And here you'll see the code. Now up here is the code we added the last time. This code protects the WP config file. Now we're going to add this code right here that will protect the HT access file. And I just pasted that in earlier to save you the uh, agony of watching me type and delete and type and delete. So again, files, and this little line here tells the program which file to protect, and in this case it's the HT access. Down here it asks whether you want to allow or deny, and we're going to deny from all. And then here we close out the file. It's very similar to this one here. All we do really was just change the name from wpconfig.php to .htaccess. Simple enough. And remember, before you start uh, playing with this file, go up here. And make a copy of this and put it in Notepad or some other safe place just in case you make a mistake and uh, mess it up, mess up this file. Because if you do something wrong in this file, your site's going to go down hard. So again, make sure that you copy and paste this code someplace safe just in case. All right, so you've made all your changes here. Go up here and click Save Changes and you are done. And once again, I thank you very much for uh, listening to my tutorial. And uh, as always, if you have any questions uh, about either WordPress security or WordPress in general, please feel free to get a hold of me at theblogbuilderguy.com. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.